While the Hopwoods were giving Dina a tour of their place, I brought in the first of our three teacher's pets. She was going to help us learn if both Steve and Brenda were up for adopting an exotic pet. I figure Brenda would at least like the pink little bag. I think Jared might be uh, waiting for us. Uh-oh. You guys are scaring me. You, uh -oh. Uh, Here we go. No, it's like in a little bag. <laughs> yeah, but it's a pink bag, though, honey. It's a pink bag. Don't it's, it has promise. Right? <laughs> now, this is going to be great. Come meet your first teacher's pet, and this animal can be pretty easy to identify, not only by its appearance, but by its sound as well. No, it's okay. Just go. Here, come right up close. Just yeah, like you this. Go it's first. okay. Here we go. See? We'll hold it just like this. Ready? Okay, just look right inside. Come here. It's really cute. It's okay. Her name's Piglet. <laughs> How cute this little guy is. Oh, <laughs> when he opened the little pouch and I saw, you know, the, the little animal with the cute eyes, I was like, okay, it's not that bad. They're actually a little possum. I see that Brenda's out of the Oh, yeah, it's already, it's already peeing. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no. There's a poop. Ew. Uh. <laughs> she smelled funny. And I guess that they like to pee and poop on people or things. Even though they're weird, the neatest thing is that they can actually jump and glide. Ah! Oh, it's okay! I didn't know he was going to do that. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Try to stay calm. <laughs> I didn't like having that thing fly at me like a bat. <laughs> no, I don't like it really. Cherry glider was, it was kind of cool, but uh, Brenda certainly didn't like that. <laughs> Steve, what do you think? You know, I think you're on the right path. Why don't you guys get some food? Sure. Because Dina's going to let you know what this guy likes to eat. It's OK. <laughs> and that was nothing, by the way. This guy can jump 30 feet from, from spot to spot. Oh, wow. Brenda needed to learn that keeping an exotic pet means feeding it exotic foods. I'm about to show her how exotic the sugar glider's diet can get. So their diets are widely varied, right? Okay. We need fruits, we need vegetables, we also need protein, um, which is why we're here. So come on down, and uh, we're going to get some sugar glider. Oh, and they're worms. Yeah. You didn't you tell me that. Here. Oh, oh no. it's fun. It's fun. Look, you can dig down. Actually, this is like sometimes they're not that fresh on the top, but if you dig, you can get nice, juicy ones. Going today with Dina to the pet store and picking worms out of that thing was gross. Wanna do one? It's not gonna jump out at me. No, 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 no. These the don't jump right? at all. Okay. These don't jump at all. The little guy's hungry. Get the fat ones and make sure they're they're moving so that they're fresh. Look at this one. That one's an active one. It'll be fun. Oh, it's hiding. Woo, get him. Oh, oh, nice find. I never thought I was gonna be okay with it, but I always like to get over my fears. If I'm afraid of something, then I just have to go poke it. So I do this to them. <laughs> Is that good anymore? Yeah, that's good. I was proud of how brave Brenda was with the mealworms, but was she up to feeding her friend Piglet? Starting to wake up, buddy. <laughs> how you guys doing? We're doing good. We're having a lot of fun. I'm so impressed with Brenda. She actually got most of the grubs herself. Let's you want see. some? Yeah, I'll take a couple. Now, what's neat about these guys, too, is they'll grab flies right out of the, right out of the air with their hand. It's awesome. And look how cute she is. She's very cute. You don't think she'll grow on you at all? What about what happened with the, the, the mealworms? I mean, you went from no way, and then you did the whole mealworm thing all yourself. I'm going to knock them all on the table here. Oh, Steve, don't do that. Don't to me. Just take it that way. I, I love Piglet. I love her. You know what? Honestly, I, I could certainly spend some time with, with Piglet. We'll keep her for the night. For Why the not? night? Absolutely. Yeah. You're kidding, right? I don't know about that. I'm going to my mom's house. Oh, man. I did not want the sugar glider to stay the night at all. It just made me very uncomfortable. We learned that a sugar glider was too exotic for Brenda. So it was time to take Piglet and prepare the Hopwoods for teacher's pet number two.